Okay, hi everyone. Here at Mickey Grove again, tea number one. And what I'm gonna share today is um, swing the club back again. I know that some of you probably using brute force. Some of you probably can create, and can create the lag, the bend of the, the shaft, and then just kind of hold the position and follow through smoothly. If you're big and big and tall and strong, you can do that. If you can't, you're small like me, then what I'm gonna do is allow my club to float in the air in the back swing, okay? So, connect it, shoulder and arm, and then just allow it to float, just like you're casting a, uh, a fishing pole, okay? All right, so, it's like you ca you're casting a fishing pole. Gently let the weight of the the club go go back okay and then come through again allow the allow the club to float in the air without and then your, your arms and hand happen to attach to your to the club that's it okay do not force it do not yank it do not force it allow it to float in the air and then just turn square but it's right in the middle okay so I know that for some people if they use brute force they're big they're tall big and strong and they use uh, force to swing the club and it's working fine for them that's fine and okay? just keep on doing it but if you're tiny and small and short like me and you don't have the the strength to brute forcing that shaft to bend then allow the the club to um, float in the air and then just grab onto it gently and then turn back and then turn through okay without squeezing hard on it on the on the grip uh, so if you try other methods and it doesn't work too well for you try this method at the range to see if it work for you before even trying the course okay those of you who have hard time making a divot with your irons Maybe you're holding too tight, okay? And then that's why you can't make a divot. Or if you're hitting crooked, maybe you're holding too tight as well. Try this at the range, okay? With grass range at least. And feel the heaviness of the club head as you let it drop with gravity in the forward downswing. Let it drop on the ground and then follow through. You will see the divot, tremendous divot on the on the turf or on the ground all right um, and that's all I can I can tell you that you is if you're holding too tough too hard on the grip and you trying to swing too hard you might you know tense up and uh, your arms might be shortened <laughs> and then at the same time shorten the club as well okay so not going to the uh, to the range at all, didn't have much time this afternoon, just step on the tee box and hit my first one there without warming up. And I am almost to the 150 yard marker here, maybe about 10 yards. Okay, so here's my ball, about 10 yards to it. So I probably did like 240 yard drive off the tee, not rehearsing or practicing at all, okay. And, and so I'd like you to try that. If you can get a better swing with that then you go with that but if you already had a good swing then you know why watching me all right so even with the iron this is exactly what i mean you saw a video i did one time with throwing the club back and, and let it go make sure it is the same idea but don't don't put too much pressure on it just allow the club to fly okay to fly as you turn your shoulder okay stay connected in those in the armpit allow it to fly and then just grab onto it and then when it's in just turn and come back through 
you will hit it so much solidly. All right, till the next time. Oh, I see ya.